Hey guys, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again with a new layout update video for you guys. So, last time I did a video, um, first of all, I had not gotten this shelf hung up. So, this one's all set up and loaded up with trains. It's the same as, well, the other two, except this one's a lot larger. I've got one more that I need to hang up, which is identical to this. So... Once that gets hung up, I'll put this down on the far end of the room, but uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. So, the first thing that has changed is, spoilers, <laughs> the first thing that's changed is that I've added ground cover to these two tables here. Now, I did this just as a test. Um, I'm far from doing any actual scenery work yet, but... What I wanted to do is just put some down here just to see what it would look like. Now, the one thing I will say is that there is still this ugly gap right through here that I'm going to have to patch up. But aside from that, it looks pretty good. And uh, yeah, that's that section there. But moving on to other things, let's talk about the big piece of news. And that is the fact that I acquired somebody else's layout and have been adding it on to mine and here it is this is a huge section of layout here so let's get behind the camera here and I'll show you around a little bit so have a look at this all of these tables and then there's one right here on the floor and then the framework for another is down here but all of these tables came from my friend Travis Gordon. Uh, he told me that he was going to be selling his layout and was just going to be moving into the collecting side of model railroading instead of operating so much. So he asked me if I would buy his bench work from him, or rather I asked him, <laughs> and Travis and I struck a deal. And we took the, his layout down and put it up over here. Now, this is not the original configuration, of course, that he had it in. Uh, this is very different. But it's more or less just redoing some of the pieces. And he also had a foam top on there, which brought up the height. Now, his leg height was 37 inches. So I did have to get some 3-inch bed risers to bring it up to the correct height because my bench work is 40 inches high. So I did have to do that. And it also came with a whole shit ton of foam. Lots and lots of extruded polystyrene foam, which I can use for sculpting hills. And I've already been doing that a little bit here, experimenting here. Probably not the final way that this is going to look, but we're getting there bit by bit. Uh, now this middle section here, um, this was a dropout piece of section that Travis had, and I screwed it in place to the table. These couple pieces of cardboard are in to help kind of level out the track a little bit. I'm going to have to do a lot more leveling throughout this whole section, but it's looking pretty good, and it's completed the curve and the bench work all the way out on this side. I just need more track in order to finish the loop. And then once I get probably these couple of bench work sections put up, uh, we'll be able to do the other curve over here. And uh, we will have all of the bench work done at that point. So then it'll be time to move on to laying track and doing wiring so that's going to be really fun uh right over here on this wall is where that other shelf is going to go the twin to that one over there so just got to get it over here and hung up it's still over at my mom's so and for those of you wondering about the o scale stuff don't worry it's safely tucked away right down there it's not going anywhere and there's even some of it right here see there's the cab forward, there's the S1, there's the J1A, so that's cool. It's kind of nice just to display some of it right here on this little window lip. Got a little Bob Ross Funko that I got for Christmas right there as well. So, but anyways, back to here. 
this was probably the best 120 bucks I have spent in a while. So a big thank you to Travis for selling me your layout and giving me a big boost on mine. So that's the biggest news that I can think of. I just got to get rid of all this scrap foam. There's also a ton of foam here on the floor from where I was cutting, so I do need to do some cleaning. But, yeah, this is really cool and really exciting to get the bench work to such a point. I'm very excited about that. So soon, we'll be able to start working on the track more heavily. As for the roundhouse, the roundhouse, probably going to leave it right here and build a modular to come out right in this section just for the turntable. Um, probably going to have a switch. Uh, ignore this curve track right here. This is just here temporarily just because I didn't have anywhere else to put that track. But I'll probably have a switch come off right about where that central main and Quebec engine is sitting. And that will serve as the turntable lead. So, it'll come down this way and connect to the turntable right along the side of the roundhouse. And we'll be able to get that going. So, look for that in the near future. That's going to be a, that's going to be a hell of a project, doing up this roundhouse and turntable. But, I'm looking forward to doing it. And I also still need to get some wood to cover up this section along through here. Because this didn't quite fit these uh, two by fours so I do need to cover that up and ignore this track this is just a displaced track that somebody gave me so I've just got it here temporarily it's not going to be here permanently but that's the biggest piece of news I got right there is the bench work being done over here and it has added a lot to this layout. So I'm very excited about that and I'm looking forward to what we can do here in the near future. So that's really about it. Just a quick little update for you guys. But it took me a little bit to get that bench work installed. But once it went in and I got the, the bed risers in, it went pretty smooth. So I'm very much looking forward to working on that area and doing scenery over there. And Finishing up the track, more importantly, so that way we can get that much closer to running trains down here on a regular basis. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. So, that's all I wanted to share with you guys on this video. So, if you did like it, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And, yeah, that's about it, really. Just gonna head off to bed. It's very late, so... I will catch you guys in the next video and down the road. This is Ravenhawk6910, signing off.